Hello again, we meet once again. Thanks for stopping by for another free art lesson. I'm Wilson Bickford. Uh, in a previous lesson, I did this uh, tree trunk wet on wet to show you how to get realistic tree bark. So if you missed this lesson, backtrack to see what this was all about. Um, it's very easy, this was put on with a palette knife. For today's lesson, I'm gonna show you the proper use of a script liner brush. Now, a lot of people get these confused. A script liner is a longer haired brush than just a regular liner brush. So it's important to use a script liner. Now down here on the palette, I've got some uh, Van Dyke Brown, Charvin brand paint by the way. Van Dyke Brown, a little touch of ultramarine blue to darken it. And it's kind of a dark gray color. Notice how soupy my paint is on my palette. What I'm doing is adding my brush cleaner, which is turpinoid right here. You could add a medium to it as well, but the paint thinner, either mineral spirits or turpinoid, something along that line, tends to thin the paint easier and quicker and thin it to a, a much thinner consistency. And notice, if you can zoom right in here, notice how this is, I'm just loading those long bristles right full. I pull the brush right sideways through the paint and I roll it between my fingers and those bristles are full right from one end to the other with really fluid paint. I've got that thinned right down to the consistency of like milk. It's very thin. Get that loaded. Uh, liner brush depends on, it gives you what is, de uh, it depends on the amount of pressure you put on it or not. It's respondent to that, I guess, responsive to that. Um, what I do is I press down a little harder at the trunk and as I work my way out I release pressure and just let the paint flow to the tip of the brush and I use a lighter touch and I can get that limb to taper right off just like I want it to. I find in my classes a lot of times stu my students don't get the paint thin enough and the minute you start out about here the paint quits feeding because it's not thin enough and then you feel compelled to press down a little harder the minute you do the brush fattens out too wide right where you don't want it. The other thing is this thinner will evaporate off your palette as soon as you put it out there in a thin layer. So I'm constantly, every time I reload, I'm adding more thinner to that. It will not stay at this consistency. Within 30 seconds, it thickens right back up. It evaporates that quickly. Out here, I'm just gonna use a lighter touch. This is a limb off the tree. Now you have to make these to scale. Now see, this could actually be a little bigger. I think the scale that I had there previously was fine, but you always have to think of the scale. If that trunk is that big, you could literally have a limb that's probably this big on that and just let that continue off as far as you want to take it. Now that's a limb. Anything coming off the limb is a branch which will be a smaller consistency or smaller consi smaller size I should say to begin with. So I'm, I'm not going to press down quite as wide. This will be a smaller width and diameter than the previous one. And I just basically do the same thing. Now off the limb you will have a branch so it's going to be a little finer yet. So I just use a little bit lighter touch. So everything has to be to scale and proportion. Proportion is, are, is one of those issues that you can't get away from. If it's wrong, it looks wrong, and everybody's going to know it's wrong. A lot of times people might look at your painting and they know something's wrong, but they can't quite put their finger on it as far as telling you what it is. But usually it's a proportion or a scale issue when that happens. So it's all in how you manipulate the brush. And just to recap here, watch this. If I press down, some people like to uh, go the opposite way. They'll press light on the outside and then just increase the pressure as you go inward and you'll get the same effect. It'll widen out. So there's really no right or wrong as to how you do it. It boils down to preference. But it's all dictated by the pressure that you apply or do not apply to the brush. Um, so it's just a matter of getting used to that brush and getting that width out of it and you have to get the paint thin to do that. So give that a shot and practice with it. A little bit of practice will go a long ways and you'll have great success with that. Get your paint thin. Check out WilsonBickford.com for more tips and information on my videos. Catch you next time.